All right, so I'm gonna show you what I do with this bag of discards of chicken bones from meals, a uh, little bit of uh, ends of onions, carrots, you name it. It all goes in a freezer bag, gets stored in the free freezer, celery, carrots, whatever you have. Um, the fronds or the stalks of, um, what do you call it? Jeez, can't think of it. Anyways, anything that really would go in a soup stock, you're gonna wanna just throw it in here and toss in the freezer until you have a full bag one day. So here's what we do. So I'm gonna show you both in the multi-cooker as well as in the quick cooker. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take the lid off and um, open this bag and we're gonna dump it in. There we go. So you can see that's what it's in mine today. And depending on the, you know, day, hold on, I'm just gonna grab a big jug of water. All right, so I'm gonna cover this with water. I don't, you know, I don't, I would like it to be as solid, good a broth as I can make it to be. There we go. So pretty much that I don't add any salt because then I have unsalted broth and I can adjust it as I need. So that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on, close it, and now I'm going to select soup over here. There you go. So I'm just gonna turn the dial until it's soup that's flashing. It's gonna to default to 30 minutes and I'm going to press start. And that's it. <laughs> that is truly it. So it'll come to pressure. It's preheating, you can see right now. Um, and when it's done, it will stay warm and count down. And right now the pressure release valve is down in which means there's no pressure. And as it builds pressure, it will float up and be flush. And when it just, like usually I don't pay attention too closely. And so it sits here maybe for an hour afterwards and I'll just come in, it will be, there will be no pressure left. It'll be down and I'll just literally take the lid off, um, pull out the, um, the stainless steel bin and then strain it and cool it and freeze it or use it. That's it. Okay, so now if we were doing it in the quick cooker, so, oops, it's kind of grungy. Sorry about that, hold on, get rid of that. So same thing, if, here we go, I'll move it over. If we were doing it here, I'd put the lid on. So I just double check that this is completely flush and that this is in the same orientation as this, okay. Canceling this other one so I don't mess up. Okay, so flush and in line. All right, <laughs> over here, all I'm gonna do is turn this dial and you're gonna watch these lights um, light up as it goes across. And I'm going to the one that says soup stock and that's lit up, default 30 minutes. And I, instead of pressing the button on this one, you just press the start button. Same thing. When it comes up to pressure, this little indicator uh, thing, this red tab will actually float up and stop there at the top. And when it's done and it rests for, it's probably 20 minutes or so before it loses all its pressure and that'll just sink back down, which will tell you that you can now take the lid off um, just like this and strain it. If you take it off, if you wanna take it off before you've lost all the pressure, um, just naturally, what you'll do is you'll press the steam release button on this version and on this version, which I've just turned off, in order to press the steam release button, you'll press this button here. It's, um, it's a little more automated than this one. Okay, so, but when we want pressure, we need it flush and this in this orientation. The reason why is because this can turn sideways and then when it releases it's going to release you know this way so we want to predict which way it's going to release and that's why we care what orientation that has and then the reason we make sure that this is flush is because if it's down in the release um, uh, position it can't ever build pressure because it's releasing steam all the time 
okay so you just want to it's kind of a subtle thing so always make sure if you want it to come to pressure then it needs to be flush and that is it you'll have the best stock cheap uh yeah it's great